Hey, my name is Maddie and I've been living in my minivan for a few months now. Today I thought it'd be interesting if I showed you all how I do my laundry. In my van, behind these burlap flaps, under my bed is the bins of clothes. So real easy even if I need to get them while I'm in the van. I don't have to open any doors or anything. I just pull them out, get whatever I need, it goes back. Here's how the rest of my clothes storage goes. That weird notch is for where the cup holders are against my van wall. Then these are the dimensions of my bed. First I have that tub of shirts that I showed you. Same size tub I have my pants and shorts. If you're from England I do mean trousers, not underwear. Those go in my shirt drawer. Then I have this paper box lid of sweatshirts, flannels, just warm layers. Anything like extra sweaters, extra warm layers go in a bag behind the pants. And then the rest of the space I just kind of fill up with random stuff. Then when I have dirty clothes, I keep my laundry basket right here. I used to keep it under my bed, but getting it in and out every day just became more of a pain. So, so far I've been keeping it right here. Never mind that hole right there or anything. How often you have to do laundry really depends on how much clothes you have, right? And with the amount of clothes I have in here, it's usually been about once every two weeks or so. Um, luckily, I've been visiting a lot of friends lately and they'll let me do laundry at their house. I've also Googled laundromats near me and they're easy enough to find. One time I was staying at a truck stop and they even had laundry machines there. It's really not a big deal to do laundry in public. Just remember your quarters. But because I came to visit my parents at Christmas and I'm still here, I get to do laundry for free. No quarters needed today. Now that we're inside, I wanted to show you all the new laundry bag that I'm upgrading to. In full transparency, the company did send me this for free in exchange for me talking about it in a video for three minutes. That being said, whenever I do stuff like this, I'll always tell you all in the first place and give you my true opinion. I won't show you anything that I don't think is worthy of your consideration. Now that we got that on the table, take a look at how different these are. This is so much bigger. The fabric is so durable and like this laundry bag has a hole in it. I think the majority of the laundry bags in my life that I've had have gotten holes in them because it's just so easy to keep stuffing and stuffing and stuffing stuff in there. But with this, first of all, it's bigger so you probably won't have to do that. And second of all, even if you do, even if it, this was like a month's load of clothes, it does not look like it's about to tear. Most laundry bags I've had come with a string that you, well, on this one it's kind of hard because it's made of canvas, but you pull it to close up a hole. So like if you're carrying it or if it's stinky clothes and you don't want the smell to smell up your van. But with this, it's even better because whereas this just closes to a normal hole or it doesn't close at all because it's canvas and really hard to use. This has a drawstring as well. Plus, it's kind of like a dry bag that you would take on a boat, but you can close the top like this. So that's just another level of closure it has on top. Something else really cool is that it has handles and straps. Look how prepared this is. I've been carrying it around the house like this with this handle just kind of thrown over my shoulder. But if you were, if you had a ton of clothes and you were walking a long way, fear no more because there are backpack straps. This is like the same size as my big backpacking backpack. If a fellow woman out there was to say to me, hey, nice laundry bag, I'd say, thanks, it has pockets, which is a reference to a lot of dresses don't have pockets if you're a man and you're confused. 
but look at all these this is going to be so great for carrying quarters and laundry soap with me i'm especially excited for this one that zips because i'm always nervous that little bag of quarters you know it has what five or ten dollars in it but i'm always nervous like i'm gonna leave it out on a table and someone's gonna swipe it when i'm at a laundromat or something overall i'm really excited about this i think it's gonna be convenient Wish I had it in college. Now when I say how often you have to do laundry really depends on how many clothes you have. Here's a typed out list of what I actually carry in my van. But of course that's just me. Everyone's gonna be different based on how much storage space they have, personal style. My advice is just think about how often you wanna do laundry and then in that time period, how much of everything are you gonna wear? If anyone's interested, I will link my cool new laundry bag down below in the descriptions. If you have anything else I didn't answer about doing laundry while living in a van, please leave me a comment and have a good rest of your day.